Hello again. This is episode two of the So Show Youth Only Say. Um, welcome back. Just wanted to give you a little recap of yesterday's episode. Um, we started the season. We won. We played three games. We won two and lost one. We lost the first game of the season to New York. And then we won the two games after that. Um, we seem to be gelling quite nicely in the tactic I was using. The first game of the season didn't go very well. Um, but New York's a very good team. So, you know, I was a bit worried. But no, the tactic's working really well. And we're doing really good. So um, I just thought I'd do a little intro to do that. And uh, in a second, we will crack on with the next episode. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched the first video. Uh, thank you to the people who subscribed to me. And um, if anybody left a comment, thank you. I really appreciate the feedback or correspondence. And yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Run the intro. Right, and we're back. Um, just one thing we need to look at before we play our next game. We've had a notification come up to say that one of our young players, um, Carzenti, has won the player of the month. He scored four goals, got three assists and got a 9.00 average rating. So he's definitely one to watch out for. And then we've had Emmanuel. Oh, hold on. Sorry, Baxter. No. Um, we had Emmanuel Kailuto, who also got four goals and one assist as well. So he's one for the future as well. So these two could get called up to the first team very quickly the way it's going. We will be looking to promote people as quickly as possible if they're good enough. So, yeah, so let's just see how we get on. Um, so, yeah, so that's that bit. And we're playing FC Marty Martigues next. So um, they are currently fourth, so they are slightly above us in the league. But, yeah, so hopefully we can do better. And my dog, Baxter, has decided to start attacking me, so I apologise if you can see my hand going up and down. There's something dodgy going on. I'm just letting him nibble on me because he's teething at the moment still. He's only 14 weeks old, bless him. He's an annoying little bugger though, isn't he? Yeah. Right, let's get on with, can I, can I do this save please? Thank you. Right, so, um, yeah, so Valetti in goal, De Costa is right back. Um, Boris in defence with Fontaine. Silva is left back. Drame and Acura in midfield. Deho and Dosu on the wings. And then Kofi and Zoll up front. So, yeah, let's, hopefully we will get another win. And we can get higher and higher up the league. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Martini Martigues are currently second in that in the league actually. Right, we've got possession now. Deho. Silver takes the corner. Lops it up, headed out. They are now on the counter attack. Uh, Baxter is going goodbye. Bye bye. I swear he only plays up when I'm recording or streaming. He, he could be sleep on me all day. And then, yeah. If anybody wants a miniature dash and let me know. No, I'm joking. I could never get rid of him. I love him to bits. And my girlfriend does. She would not be happy if I got rid of him. Right, that's one nil. That's your fault, Baxter. It's your fault. We're losing because of Baxter. Oh, right. He's now chewing on my laptop, which is great. Um, sorry about this. Right, let's go. Deho. Pass it inside to Dr uh, Drame. Silver. What's he going to do? Passes it inside to Drama. Drama with a cross, headed by Dosu. Uh, goalkeeper saves it. 
Baxter, if you're coming back here, you're going to behave, aren't you? No, you're going to start biting me, so you can stay over there. Right. There you go. He's gone back out. He's gone back downstairs now. It's a chew on his stick. That's fine. Right, Dosu. Get in. Day of home with his second goal of the season. 1-1. One, one. Back in the game. Fontaine. Cross to Silver. Ooh. The cross got deflected, or the pass got deflected, and uh, but unfortunately we couldn't uh, make anything from it. Right. See, hopefully the second half will uh, dominate and we'll win. We have been all over them, though, to be honest. 11 shots, 4 on target, and then they go and score. They've had literally 2 shots and they've scored both. Their XG is 0.56. It just tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? <sighs> right, Acura probably needs to come off if I can. Hopefully we can get back in this game quickly enough so we can then try and potentially win, but we just need to get that equalised and we've got to make sure they don't score again. It would be typical that if they have another shot, they'll score. Right, Kofi, come on, let's go. Cross to Dehu. Good goal. Get in. Deho with his second of the game. That um that noise in the background, if you can hear it, is uh, Baxter chewing on his stick. I apologise. I live in a flat. There's nowhere. There's nowhere to put him because if I put him somewhere else, he'll start barking and yelping. So that'll be more distracting than anything else. Right, we've got a penalty. Get in. Dehu with his hat trick. Fourth goal of the season. Right, hopefully we can uh, not concede any more goals in this game. That would be nice. Might be able to score another one here. We've got some quality in this team, though. I'll tell you now. And I feel like the players in the under-18s uh, and the second team, I feel like they're even, that, they're even better than what we've got now, which is quite good to know. So I feel like we're we're more than covered in, if we if we lose anybody. Because I want to try and like slowly produce a streamline of really good players and then sell them for good money and then replace them with somebody in the youth team. Oh, hit the bar. Oh, nearly again. Yeah, so that's the aim, is to basically turn this team into the best youth recruitment the youth facility boat not youth facility. the best team for producing young players in france basically which is a which is a difficult thing to think of really when you think of like the other teams in france like psg leon monaco marseille rennes rennes has got a brilliant reputation for that reason so we we've got a tall task ahead of us but i'm hoping we can do it I'm hoping we achieve what we want to achieve in this save, unlike the Wraith Rovers one where by the end of it, I was so burnt out, we never got to win the title, even though our last season doing the Wraith Rovers save, we were very close. No, I don't want to get, oh, I don't want to concede in the last minute of the game here. Oh, for God's sake. They don't deserve to get this, this draw. That's ridiculous, that is. That's so annoying. We got proper FM there. Three shots on target, three goals. 
Oh well, right, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Hello, we're back. Um, yeah, so I've never seen this, and all the time I play Football Manager, I've never seen this happen before. So, first of all, one of our players retired literally within the first month of the season. He did have an injury. Uh, his name's Kevin Hoggers. He, I don't think he even played for us this season, I could be wrong, but uh, career stats? Oh, he did play a couple of games. Um, but yeah, so he retired. He he wants to be a scout, but he's not very good, so I'm not going to hire him. I don't need a scout. Um, yeah, so he's retired. And then this come up. So we've received 55.94k um, yeah, payout from the insurers following his early retirement. And then the board have allowed you to use the money to strengthen the squad, but we, obviously we don't need to. But I've never seen that before, so that was quite unique. Um, we're just going to add that. I'm just going to check my transfers because I don't know what... Oh, there you go. We've got a cash out we can do straight away. So he's a good player. That uh, So these are some of the players that, that So Show have produced that's gone on and we could potentially make money off them. Willie um, Camberwaller in real life, um, playing for Man United at the moment. And then you've got Eliz uh, Eli Eliza Mayenda, who's... Um, I think he was the one that was... who made his debut at 16 or something. I think he broke the, the record for the youth play, the youngest player to play for the club. But anyway, so we've got this cash out and we can get 465k, 467k from uh, Lil. So we're going to cash that one out. Uh, we'll just add that into the wage budget. We'll just shift everything to the wage budget. I just want to check something though because for some reason we've got 500k out of nowhere in our transfer budget and I'm just worried that we've sold... Uh, is this, is this one? No, I don't think this one is. He, I don't think he was at the club. He's a good player, though. Have we got a future fee for him? I hope so. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the clauses for him. No, we haven't. Great. Right, okay. We just need to be careful with that next time. So anyway, right. Here's our lineup for the game against uh, FC Ruin. Um, we've got uh, Patoulet in goal. De Costa as right back, Vitelli and D. Agni in the centre of defence, Silver as left back, Drame and Vitard in the centre midfield, Makalu on the right, Linier, uh, sorry, Linard on the left, and then Fatar and Kofi up front. So hopefully we won't have a repeat of the last game. I'm still salty about that. Three shots and three bloody goals. Their XG was like 0.67 or something stupid like that. And then ours was, we had so many shots and, uh, yeah, our defence was not good in that game by the looks of it. But hopefully we can bounce back from this game. We've got the first highlight, so Linard over the top ball. Luke De Costa, beautiful pass. Get in. Four minutes play, we've already scored. That's what we like to see. Oh, but it won't count. Okay. Right, let's try and encourage the players. We uh we need to get a couple of wins in a row now. Get get up the high the league as possible. We're not gonna do it with bad passes like that though. Right, let's start again with our goalie, playing out through from the defence. The Agni across to Silver, one two, back to Silver, Leonard. Just I'm not gonna yeah, just passing around basically. <laughs> I'm not going to keep mentioning every single pass because that will get boring very quickly. Beautiful turn there by Makalu. Loses the ball but gets it back. Come on. Ugh, penalty. Get in. Thank you, referee. Leonard, who is our penalty taker, lines up. Hopefully he'll score. He does. Beautifully placed. Whenever I think of a Frenchman taking a penalty, I always think of Eric Cantona. He was my favourite. When I was a little kid, he was my favourite player as a little, uh, little kid. And then, obviously, Beckham took over from that. And uh, and then later on, Cristiano Ronaldo. But Cantona was my first first player I loved at Man United. He was just so... He was just so, he just had that poise about him, didn't he? Like a typical Frenchman. He just had that class about him. Ooh, we hit the bar from the free kick there.
Good. Oh, I thought we got the ball back there. No, we don't want to concede. That's fine. That's fine. Could do that all day long. I don't mind that. All right, still winning one 0 which is good. Now up to fourth in the league if this carries on. Right, I'm just keeping an eye on my dog. He's got a chew stick and I'm just paranoid he's going to choke on something. Because he's so tiny as well, I just worry about things like that. Right, still 1-0. Free kick to us. Oh, something happened there. I think he got elbowed. Got another penalty. Can Linard do it again? He does, 2-0. Right, let's take off him. Uh, right. We're quite limited in our substitutions, really. Two nil. We are fourth in the league. Um, All the ons has got a game ahead of us, though. So. We get another goal near the end. The Sar loses the ball. No. Oh, get in. Diego Michel. Never. I ain't heard of him yet. Uh, he's all right. Decent ability, but no, there's no protect. There's not very good potential there. But he'll be a good squad option to have. Right, get in three nil win. Good way to bounce back after that draw. Just uh, criticise him. Oh, finally, somebody that actually agrees to do better. Praise you. Don't think it's going to work with this one though. But you never know. No. Nope. Not happy. Right, that's that. Right, I'll be back in a minute with the next uh, game. We are back and uh, we are playing Avala uh, US um, Avranches. I need said Avalanches, but that's not it. Avranches. So US Avranches. We'll just call them USA. Short. Sure. Um, Pretty much same team as usual, I think. So let's just crack on. Zol is back though, so that's good. Hopefully another win. First highlight of the game goes to the opposition, the USA. Or AVR, we'll just call them AVR. Saves me getting ridiculed on the comment section. Right, good little bit of passing going on there. Get in. Makalu. Makalu now, again, drives it down the wing. <sighs> Nearly equalised there by the USA. USA. It's alright, Baxter's decided to turn up and show me he's got a chew stick. Right, we are currently third in the league now, which is good. Oh, penalty to us. The Sar lines it up. 
get in. Two nil. Bit of oh, I just realised I had it on bloody pause. Sorry, everyone. Bloody de uh, flipping um, Baxter's fault distracting me. I'm easily distracted at the best of times. Oh, yes. Hello, Baxter. Yes, I know. This dog just likes to obstruct my flow, my creative flow. He likes to get involved, don't you, Baxter? We've had him nearly four weeks now. I can't believe I, I can't believe we've had him that long, me and my partner. Right, good clearance there by us. They got a player called Smith in this team. Okay, interesting. What? <laughs> I think it come off the goalkeeper's head there to come over the bar. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, two 0 up. Oh, that's good. Sorry if you can hear a chewing noise. That's Baxter. I apologise. Hopefully in a few weeks when I move into this new flat, I hopefully I can get some space away from him so it won't be too distracting. There you go, I've just threw his chew stick now, so he's he's going to try and figure out how to get off the sofa now to get it. 3-0, uh, completely missed that goal because of a bloody dog. Another convincing win here, starting to build up some momentum. we're just passing it around now because we are confident in knowing that we won this game so i think it's just us wasting a bit of time now trying to frustrate the opposition hopefully it won't backfire on us galvez oh nearly can we get a fourth goal before the end of this game Um, right, let's take off him. Uh, take you off, we'll put you on. You never know, AVR might get back into this game. They're trying, at least they're trying. I think we've won this one. We are now neck and neck on points with Orleans and Neilt. Orleans have got a game ahead of me and uh, ahead of us and Neilt though. Right, Zol's out for a couple of weeks. He's very injury prone, Zol. He keeps getting injured. He's been injured quite a lot this season. Actually, let's have a quick look. Let's, uh, let's have a look at injury history. Yeah, he's had... Not been out for long, but two weeks of injuries, yeah. Anyway, right, I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute with the um, last game of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, not bother going to do the team lineup. I think it's pretty much the same as last game, so we're just going to crack on. Playing a team called Goal FC. They do have a very cool... Uh, let's have a look. I think they have a very cool... Oh, no, that's, a, that's not the logo. If you if you Google Goal FC, you'll see their logo on there. It's pretty cool, to be honest. All right, Makalu's already injured. We're going to take him off, which is not ideal. Eight minutes into the game. All right, we're in possession now. De Costa.
passing it around nicely here. Trying to build possession, build up slowly. Beautiful ball. Go on, Kofi. Fourth goal of the season for Kofi. He's going to get quite a few for us this season, I think. Have we have to take two players off already? Oh, no. I'm ignoring me. Didn't even notice uh, Kofi's gone. We'll watch that again. Sorry. Right. Corner. Crossed in. And then Kofi headed. He knows how to header this lad, doesn't he? I think most of his goals have been headers, unless I've got it wrong. I was distracted because I thought we took two players off him. Right. Anyway. 2 0 up after 20 minutes played, which is not too bad. I feel like we'll probably extend that lead in a second. Oh. Day Hope. Beautiful, beautiful goal there. I think that was Fatar heading it in from Day Hope Cross. Sorry, I had something in my eye. Yeah, I think this season is going to be a very easy season for us. The real test is next season because, I mean, Socho and Neil should not be in this division, but they are because there's only so many teams that could be in the division of all, uh, and they didn't play very well. So that's why they're in the place they're in, but they're just too strong for this division. Hopefully, you never know, we might, if we're good enough, we might get back-to-back -back promotions. Uh, we might be in League One within two years, but I'm being realistic. And I think the aim is just to get promoted this season and see where we are next season, see how it goes. Uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult because we're doing youth phone as well, so we're not going to be signing any players or loaning or free transfers. It's just literally what we've got is what we've got. But we've got a hell of, I think we've got a big squad though, considering. Right, second half started with Goal FC um, picking up their performance. We're now top of the league. Right, Michelle. Oh, that's outside the box. That's not going to be a penalty. I'll be surprised if that's a penalty. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. Kofi. Oh, they don't have VAR, do they? So, um, yeah. Kofi with a hat-trick in this game. That's good. How many goals have you got now, though? You've got six goals for the season, six games played. So, it's an average of one goal a game. Yeah, we are currently top of the league. Um, Orleans have got two games ahead of us though, so we can't get too excited. Uh, who else can we take off? Right. Let's just praise the team now. Sorry for that shaking around. I've got Baxter behind me. Uh, behind my laptop, sorry. He's being a fidget. It's alright, because I'm going to take him for a walk in a sec after this. Good goal by Boris. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, Boris got his first cap um, for Martini. No, sorry, Marouche. Oh my God, Baxter, will you... Hey, come here. Sorry about this, everyone. Um... Right, what they call, yeah, Martinique. He got his first cap and first goal for Martinique. There we go, four 0 win. Right, uh, I'll just quickly do this. He actually wants to agree to a target, so 
That's good. I'll just do these and then I'll just. All right, two more. Last one. Right. So we leave the episode with us top of the league, which is a good turnaround. Um, so, yeah, so that's good. Finances, I forgot to show you earlier, pretty good. We started with 12 million anyway. Um, but, yeah, doing very well. And, uh, yeah, I'll call it a day for this episode. But I'll, uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks again. And I hope you're enjoying the series. And what I would like you to do in the comments section, uh, let me know which French teams you've managed on Football Manager. Um, let me know and let me know how you got on. So, yeah, just let me know. Let's, let's try and get some um, communication going on. But, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.